guys, we're back out again looking for rabbits. I seem to get some positive feedback on the last video for people wanting to see a rabbit catch, clean and cook. So that's a goal for today. Uh, I'm just out at our, at our cabin. Uh, we've got a nice chunk of land here uh, that I'm going to walk into and uh, yeah, hopefully get our catch, clean and cook done. Uh, I'm bringing the 17 HMR along with me. You know, it's a great rifle, really accurate, gets good clean headshots and takes a rabbit out right away and there's no uh, pellets in the meat that way either. Well, it didn't take us too long to spot our first rabbit. Just heading up the trail and that's what happens on these bright sunny days. The rabbits like to come out and sit in the sun. So there he is, just chilling. See his head and his ears there. But uh, this guy's going to get a free pass. All we want is one rabbit today for our catch and cook. And uh, yeah, we'll try to find one closer to the cabin. It's just nice to see. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, I think it's March 3rd and uh, we had a cold night last night. So I'm sure the rabbits are going to be pretty cooperative, chilling in the sunshine. So I'm just going to keep heading up the trail. We'll see what else we can find. Well, today's just one of those days where there's a lot of rabbits out. Uh, again, they just love the sunshine. So I only walked maybe 50 yards from where we saw the last one. We've got another guy just hanging out in the sunshine. It's kind of tough to get the shots with all the twigs in the way, but I'm sure you can make them out. Even though the weather is beautiful today, uh, just the condition of the snow makes it really tough to walk because you have a hard layer and it's kind of just like wet and soggy snow underneath. So yeah, we're gonna have a, have a little bit of a workout today. But again, all we need is one rabbit. We're gonna find him in here somewhere. We just spotted ourselves a rabbit here, pretty close to the cabin, so this is going to be the one. So we'll line up for a shot. guys we got our snowshoe hair for a catch clean and cook did an awesome shot on him a real quick clean kill with uh, the 17 HMR and uh, yeah we got ourselves a beautiful rabbit uh, so now we'll take him back to the cabin and I'll show you guys how to clean him up and then we'll get him on the frying pan it's gonna be awesome can't wait Okay, well we just got back to the cabin here with our rabbit and uh, now it's time to clean it up. So what I like to do is I like to grab it from the back legs and just start pulling the hair off. The hair comes off pretty, pretty easy. And once it's generally hair free, I like to cut off the legs. And next is the head. So 
once all that's gone I just take a bit of the excess hair off they're starting to shed so it can get pretty hairy so you just make sure you you wash them off after now it's time to get the guts out so I'll take my knife I'll poke a hole just inside the stomach you want to make sure you don't go too far down or you'll uh, you'll hit the guts so I just open it up a bit then I take my hand and reach inside and just grab the stomach just pull that out and everything will kind of fall off then I take the lungs out but I like to leave the heart inside because the heart's one of the best parts to eat so once the stomach is free of guts then you want to open up the uh, the pelvic cavity just to get the bladder out so just take my knife and crack down take my finger and scoop out all that good stuff and once that's out I just remove the stomach kind of the stomach flap just the stomach lining there and just pull those off There we go, the rabbit's been uh, field dressed. So now it's just time to wash it off in some snow and dip it in some water and then cut off the meat and throw it on the frying pan. Okay, we've got all of our rabbit meat all diced up right there. And uh, today we're gonna be making some rabbit fried rice. So we've got our rice, our seasoning, some oil, honey garlic sauce, and some, uh, some onions and garlic. We're going to be frying it up on the outdoor stove because it's such a beautiful day out. So let's get to that. First we're going to drop our rabbit in there. Letting our rabbit fry up for a little bit now, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of spice on there. And I'll tell you, it smells good already. I honestly, don't even need it. Everything's turning nice and brown, so toss in our. Uh, Toss in our onions and garlic now. Smelling pretty darn good. It's gonna be awesome. Let that cook a bit longer and then we'll toss our rice on. Okay, time to put our rice in. It's really easy to make. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you, it sure tastes really good too. Okay, just mix that around now. And I'll just let it fry until the until the rice starts to turn a little bit brown and then I'll throw some honey garlic uh, sauce in there. And then we'll be ready to eat. Okay, 
Okay, time for a last step. Pour some honey garlic in there. Pretty good. So I'm just gonna let it, uh, oh, camera's getting all fogged up. I'm just gonna let that uh, render down a bit and it'll just absorb all that, all that flavor. Got our fried rice all finished up here. It's looking pretty good, so uh, it's time to plate up and try it out. Smells awesome. There's all there's all kinds of things that you could do with uh, with rabbit. Um, this is just a quick and easy way to make it out in the bush. So yeah, there it is. We'll try it out. Okay, guys, time to give the rabbit a try. Oh yeah, it's really good stuff. Such an easy way to do it too. But yeah, thanks for watching the uh, rabbit catch, clean and cook. Really appreciate it. Had a great day out here today. Um, we saw three rabbits and uh, two grouse. We didn't even have to hunt that hard. It's just like I said, when the sun's out, the rabbits love to just kind of sit in nice open spots and they're pretty easy to see. Um, yeah, so it's uh, finally getting some good weather out here. Uh, I think it was like plus five today, which is beautiful. Uh, we're at the beginning of March, and uh, yeah, it feels feels kind of like spring's coming. So again, I really appreciate you guys watching. We're gonna come out with some uh, some new stuff in the future, maybe a couple fishing videos. We'll see. And I'm excited for uh, for spring to get rolling here. So thanks for watching again, and like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.